Hello City Skylines fans, I'm Soxway Up, and welcome back to a new series. It's not completely named yet, but we're gonna get into it. There's gonna be a little bit different here. We're gonna show you the process that I go through when I create City Skylines. The first thing we did is we unsubscribed to every single mod. Yeah, it's not gonna be a vanilla series. We're gonna add them back. We, we unsubscribed to every asset as well, but we're gonna one by one slowly start reintroducing reintrodu mods and only install them when we need them. So that's that's the plan with this series. The first thing we're gonna do though, is we're gonna start fresh with an empty map and show you from the very beginning of creating a map to creating the city, every step that we take as we think through which mods we need, which assets we need to download. Lake Soxide's unplayable right now because I use too many assets, too many decals, too much detailing going on in little spots that I really overdid it. So we're going to do it a little differently this time around. We're going to take our time. We're going to show you how I think through downloading things and which ones I pick from the assets or from the workshop. And let's dive right into that right now. So this series, we're going to start recreating a city, an existing city in real life. And I haven't talked about where that is yet. It's Delta County, Michigan, or the actual city that we're going to start with is Escanaba in Michigan in the, in the upper peninsula, small town. They have around 12,000 population in Escanaba itself. As of 2019, it was around 12,000. The county itself that is in the surrounding area is about 37,000 people. The focus of this series is going to be Escanaba first. Eventually we might move on to maybe recreating Gladstone as well, which is a little bit north of that. And as you can see, as we move into Google Earth here, giving you an idea of the area of the world that we're making this video or making the series in. One of the main focuses is going to be Ludington Street in Escanaba. That is one of the main hub of the commercial area, the commercial buildings that were established way back in the 1800s. There's also a nice airport there's Delta County Airport that is in Escanaba so now that the new DLC is out it's really nice we'll be able to recreate that as much as we can now that we got that out of the way we're going to head on over to hypemap.skydark.pl I'll put a link in the description this is the website that I am using to pull the hype map off of you know Google Earth or however they do it I'm not really sure what the back end of that is but once we get that hype map we're going to put it into the map editor in City Skylines start messing with some of the terrain, get it all figured out, finished up. We're also gonna use the Hype Map website to get an image of the streets and the roads. So we can use another mod, which we'll go over later on in the video that we're gonna to use to help us lay out the roads as we recreate Escanaba. So taking a quick dive into the Hype Map information tab here, you can see there's a lot of different settings that we can change around. I found for the best results to hit the auto button and then do the export at that point. After playing around with this tool for a little bit, I found that that's how you get the best results for importing maps into City Skylines. And the next thing we want to do is we want to put our PNG file for our height map into the height maps location here. As you can see, I'm going to put a link in the description as well for that to help you with that part of the process. Now that we got that all out of the way, it's time to jump into the map editor, create our own map, get the game loaded. And then after that, we'll import our hype map and we need to click on the import map button first, find the map that we selected or how we named it. We did hype map two and there we go. It came out pretty nice so far. It's not a ton of changes we'll have to make. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab sea level here. So right here. Yep. Yep. So move to sea level, adjust height of sea level. Right now it's at 40. Let's ooh, that's a little too high. Let's scale that back. We'll find the happy place Been messing around with sea level for a little bit. 33 was still a little too high. So let's pull it down. Let's see 30, maybe around 30 reset sea level that that might do it. So now it's time to, you know, kind of see if all the shore looks good and then check out our rivers. Some of our rivers might need a little bit of terraforming. I've noticed like this area here, the height map wasn't perfect enough to get sea level to just handle it. So now we're gonna jump into the terraforming tools. We're gonna to grab the level tool, find an area that has a ton of water that's working really well. We're gonna set the terrain height to that. At this case, it's 9.75. And then we're gonna just even it out and just link it all up to the rest of this river so that the water can flow naturally. Get that completely done and then see what it looks like when we're done with that. Almost finished here. Just a couple more spots to, you know, smooth out a little bit get that edge going and it seems to be working as I was hoping we didn't have to do too much terraforming there and we got this first river the Escanaba River finished up so that's looking pretty good let's see if there's another area that's still a little high ah, I wonder if we should pull the sea level down just a hair let's see yeah we're at 30 let's drop it to 28 let's do that 2800 see if the game's happy with that 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 might do it. I think that might do it. This river still looks okay. 
We don't have to go back and take care of that. That was at nine, so that should be fine. This river here is gonna take a little bit more love. A lot of bends and twists in the in the river that's gonna cause us to have to have really terraform this a, quite a bit to get it working. I decided on this river, it might make more sense to add a water source. So we're gonna do that here. Let's click on the water tab, we'll grab the water source. Maybe, let's see how big it's gonna be. That's, that's pretty large. Let's shrink it down to about 18. That's not bad. Let's try 08. Put that there and then we'll lower that level as well and get that flowing and see if we can't get all the water to work its way down to connect to the other side of the river. That's gonna take a little bit of time, so we'll jump ahead in the video here and, and let you see the outcome of that. Once we got the water to finally get all the way down to the river, we noticed there's a couple spots that are struggling to stay full of water. So in these areas, I think we're going to utilize the slope tool and just slope the river downward towards the terrain so that it's a nice even flow. I think some of the water's building up and then drying out and then releasing, and that's what was causing that issue. Some of the physics in the game aren't perfect and we can help it out by doing this so the water isn't building up and, and then flowing like it should. Some of the areas where it's stopping, it's kind of treating it almost as a dam that's like letting it get through a little bit later. So some of the things you might notice when you're playing around with the water resource mods in City Skylines. So that's what we're doing here. I think we got most of the areas taken care of now. We just need to see if we can get this. Ah, maybe maybe that did, wasn't enough. Let's do a little bit more sloping here. Can't tell if it's catching up or if it needs a little bit more help. Let's do a right click there. Drag this all the way down to that area where it seems to struggle. And we can see now the terrain map kind of matches. So once this piles in, all the water fills in, it should stay full of water at this point and this river should be ready to go for this map let's give it a couple more seconds here it seems like that's gonna do it though that should take care of it well that seems to take care of most of our issues we got both of these rivers flowing pretty well at this point and that's the first phase of creating the map in city skylines so now we're going to jump back into steam and we're going to download and install our first mod this one's going to be a temporary mod we're only going to use it while we're creating the initial map Maybe we'll bring it in later on when we need to add some roads when we're getting a little confused But I think once we get the some initial roads the main road into the first starter tile We shouldn't need it anymore But it is a image overlay mod that you can see is this one's called image overlay 2 image overlay 2 is created by M Byron It's in M Byron 26's workshop here. It's been updated for the airports DLC So we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna hit subscribe and we're going to get the game back up and running and, and see. Well, let's look at some of the steps first. There's probably the location we have to put the file. Let's see. So recommended maps. You can get it from Terrain Party, which we did not. Height map. Yep, the height map. The uh, Sky Dark one is the one we use. That is absolutely the one we want. Photoshop or something to keep the image into a 15,000 by 15,000 pixels. We want to save it as a PNG. We want to place the modified image into your Steam directory, Steam apps, common City Skylines files. Enter the game manager to enable the mod. Learn about the shortcuts in the options panel. So the controls are here. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. That should be installed now. We'll get the game up and running so we can check it out. So jumping into the game here, you can see it lined up pretty close. Um, yeah. That's, that's not bad. You can see some of the terrain isn't exact of how it should have been when it was created. So this might actually help us with a little bit of that. But let's go ahead and go into, into options. We'll go into the image overlay two, and we'll look at key bindings. So what we're gonna wanna do is change the position a little bit. Directional key bindings is probably what we want. We wanna move up, so shift and the up arrow. Shift and up arrow shift and down arrow and then okay so that is how you move it around we want to see the scale so shrinking the image is shift minus enlarging it is shift nine all right let's give that a little shot here shift nine main options enable keybinds there we go all right so shift nine not that one not that one doesn't seem to be doing anything so it's starting to come in, but the scale's just off. The scale seems to be off a little bit. I think let's try some of the adjustments here now. 
And yeah, that's going to be close. Let's make it a little bit larger then. Oh, that would be this one. And then move it over just a hair. That's not bad. So, but we got some areas down here that don't line up too great. But this is definitely what I was looking for. You can see here it doesn't line up completely. Some areas just not perfect, but you can see we are we will be able to do some of the main roads. This one didn't line up at all. We'll have to figure that out. But that's gonna allow us to start doing this. Let's shrink this down just a little bit more. Yeah, so this area didn't turn out great. And then this area here didn't turn out great. But everything else, like the scale is just off. So the idea here is pretty cool to be able to use something like this, but you can see it's just it's not completely lining up. The, the complete scale of the two images was not perfect, even though they were taken from the same exact spot on the site map website or the height map website. The river doesn't line up at all. I mean, that would be an interesting thing is to try to line up the river a little bit better and see what that does to the rest of it. Yeah, this the scale is just off. That's uh and it, the way it shrinks isn't really isn't really that helpful either. Um not necessarily because of the mod. It's 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 because of the image that we have. So I'm not I don't want it to sound like I'm bashing this mod at all. Cuz it's really not. The mod's actually doing exactly what I wanted it to do. It's our image isn't isn't perfect. So let's go ahead and see if we can line this up a little bit better. We don't have a road that we can use, so we will ha we will have to change this, but we'll do a connection there. We'll do a connection here as well. And that will get our incoming roads going there. And then some of this will we'll have to we'll have to play with the mods. We'll have to get some of the 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 custom assets the words are hard we'll have to get some of the custom assets down that we want or uh, installed so that we can start doing some of these roads i did not realize that you don't get the regular roads in here seems kind of strange um two-way highway you know we could you know say just to get this thing marked up we would come in here and connect this road you know, kind of do something like that, but it's, you know, it's a one way road and we do not want that in this area, though. We could just be satisfied with this and and make some changes once we get the assets down that we want. But you can see that's where it's going to be a little bit confusing because right here we do want a two way road and not having two way roads in here. Kind of going to make it a little tough to do what we want to do, especially since there's there's not really any any freeway um, there's no highway. That's what I'm trying to say. It's no highway. So we're going to, we're going to mess with this a little bit and show you what we came up with. Maybe get some mods added, but that's what I just kind of wanted to show this mod off a little bit and how we could use it, even though it doesn't line up perfect. It's definitely going to get us where we want to go in, in this build. So that's going to do it for this episode of, uh, I don't know what the city is called yet. We're probably going to go with Esky. It's a Delta County city and Esky. And I'm, I'm thinking about making this kind of a larger series of multiple cities that we build. And eventually we will start doing maybe Gladstone in parallel with uh, Escanaba to keep it interesting for, for me. And that's a lot of why we're recording this this way and changing the way we're editing. And basically this, the changing kind of the way that I make videos is I was, you know, complete rant time at the end of the video i was trying to go down the get popular get you know draw people in try to find things that were popular that were going on in youtube and trending and instead of just doing my thing and that's what we're doing i wanted to i wanted to play the game my style my way of playing the game and show it off and kind of show the process as i go along and completely at this level hopefully it's not too much information hopefully it's not too boring trying to make this video shorter about 15 minutes is about what i'm aiming for so let me know what you think um let me know what you think about the format. It's uh, Maybe it'll change. Maybe it'll stay around. I'm definitely digging it. I'm having fun editing this way, and I'm excited to see what happens with uh, the town of Escanaba that when we recreate it, and uh, I'm having a blast. So I'll, I'll catch you on the next episode. I'm Socks Way Up. Thanks for hanging out.